Okay, uh, I've had the car out for a short little drive around the block. The uh, brakes work, fuel obviously works, it drives. Uh, so now we're starting working the engine. I'm going to do the uh, timing belt just because it's been sitting so long. I have no idea if it's ever been changed. And uh, while you're in there, the water pump. Now I've just got the power steering disconnected here and alternator off. I've got the belt, the alternator's there. I just got the belt off of it. This is the main pump here for the uh, water pump. If you listen, so it's a good thing that while I'm in there, I might as well change the water pump because uh, that's obviously squeaking and not long for this world. So I got a water pump, got belt and uh, pulleys and stuff. So that's the next thing to do. That's the next big thing to do. Okay, we're further into the engine now. You can see the timing belt doesn't look bad, but you can't really tell by looks. It's kind of hard and rubber. It's rubber, so it's kind of hard. So it could break at any time. So going to change it anyway. That's why you change. You're supposed to do it probably every 100,000 K, I'm guessing. Seems to be the average. It's got 160 on it, and I'm sure it's never been done. And also, we, not, we know we got to come in here anyways for the, uh, the water pump. So belt's got to come off the water pump, so you might as well change the water pump and the time belt at the same time. Um, it's looking pretty tight down here, which of course it is. Um, it's got air conditioning back there, which I was hoping I wouldn't have to touch, but looks like one of the pulleys goes over where the idler is in there. And that's pulley for the air conditioning, which is over there. So more stuff to tear apart. I mean, a belt's cheap enough. It's just the labor, and because you got to tear everything apart to get to it. Power steering's got to come off. Alternator's got to come off. Looks like AC's got to come off. Got to take a motor mount right out. I got a jack underneath holding up the engine. Um, take the water pump off to get the timing belt out. Fun, which is why nobody ever do, does this. But if that belt goes, then. You'd be mashing, oh, I'm bleeding, look at that. You'd be mashing uh, valves and then you're looking at replacing the head or at least having the head off and having the valves redone and it's just a mess. So it's like, as much as I don't want to do this, it's uh, could be better in the long run because you know I really don't want the belt to let go. If the belt lets go, I'm looking at major work, way more than just tearing half, this half of the engine apart to change a belt. And it can leave me inside the road, and who knows? I plan on doing some long trips with this, so I don't be stuck on the side of the road. So that's where we are now. Onward and upward, or inward, or whatever. Away we go. Right, Otis? You're going to help? You don't help very much. It'd be better if you had thumbs, then you can help. Back to her. Okay, I got a collection of parts going. Don't want my dirty coffee cup there. Parts going that's uh, come off so far, covers, timing belt cover, pulleys, brackets for the uh, power steering, adjuster for the air conditioning, that's the crank pulley, there's a new water pump going in, motor mount out, we got a little bit of room in here, what I'm doing now is making sure all my timing marks are lined up before I take the belt off, so you can see, hopefully you can see, you can see that light or not. There's a timing mark right there, which is supposed to line up to one right here, which there we are. See those a little better, I hope. And uh, so that's lined up here. And underneath, we got three timing marks to line up, three more. We got the oil pump one here. There's a little mark there. I don't know if you can see the little tab it's got to point to. And then there's on the crank, that little notch there, there's a tab for it to line up to. It's not showing up very good in this phone, but trust me, it's all lined up. And then there's one for the balance shaft up there. You can see the little arrow to the left of the nut there. 
it's all lined up. So I got all the things lined up. I've never had to line up a, that, that, that's the oil pump there. And uh, never had to line that up for, for balancing, but, or timing, but uh, I guess I always thought it just spun and gave oil pressure, but apparently it's gotta be lined up. So uh, I watched a, tu a thing on YouTube for instructions. So don't listen to me because uh, this isn't instructional. This is just my mayhem I got to go through. All right. So next thing I do, we got to take that tensioner out. Right. Ouch. It's hard to do this with a cameraman. That's a tensioner there. That's got to come out. And then slide the belt off. But as you can see, I've got lots of room to work in here, don't I? Jeepers. And oh, then the water pump up there has got to come out. Because I also have been this far. I'm not going to do it again. I'm not sure if I got a belt for the. There's a separate belt, separate belt right there. That's for a balance shaft. I'm not sure if I got that belt or not when I got the kit. I ordered the kit. Hopefully I did. If not, then. Uh, I don't know if I'll go through. I should, I should change it. I should just come in this far. But to be honest, if I don't have it, I'm not going to do it. I mean, worst case scenario, that goes, it's going to run rough. It's the timing belt, the main timing belt right there that's uh, more important. If that thing breaks, then I'm looking at pulling the head and having the valves redone and all kinds of fun stuff like that, which I really don't want to do, which is why I'm in here in the first place, so I don't have to bend any valves. So that's where we are so far. All right, I just checked the kit and it did come with an extra belt for the uh, balance shaft. So I gotta do that too, which like I said, glad I have it because I don't wanna do this more than once. Uh, some adjuster pulleys, idlers, yeah, get all the parts. So might as well put them in. Now, does that mean I gotta pull? Oh no. Do that balance shaft belt. I think I might have to. Well, maybe not. I'm thinking I might have to pull this sprocket off, which I'll need a special tool for. There's a puller, I guess. But uh, hopefully, I don't have to get into that. I hope not. Okay, I got all the hardware out that I got to take out. I'm just draining the coolant. Uh, out of the rad now before I pull the water pump off. It's uh, the next thing to come off. Everything else is off. The uh, idler pulleys, they don't seem bad. Like they, they seem to spin freely in that, but I got new ones, so I'll put those in. There's the adjustable one, and the new one, and that's for the, uh, the balance shaft. The belt itself, this is the... Uh, the old timing belt doesn't look bad there's no real cracks in it turned over it's probably fine but you know they're they're fairly cheap it's just the work to do it so you might as well do it but i did get a new uh belt for the balance shaft because again you're in there and i'm glad we're doing that one because here's the old one and as you can see, it's really cracked and split. Like that wasn't going to last much longer. So I'm really glad we're doing that. Uh, between this and the squeaky uh, water pump, I think we've just saved ourselves a lot of future headaches. Time belt went fine, but if this broke, I'm sure the car still would have run. It's just a balance shaft, so it just would have run rough. You know, had a shape to it, it still would have run, but you know, not just, not comfortably. So, uh, glad, I'm kind of glad to see that. Just makes me glad that we're actually changing it because that belt is done. So, new belt going in, new idler pulley, adjustable pulley for the timing, uh, timing belt. Balance shaft, that's the adjustable, uh, the adjuster for the timing belt. That's just an idler pulley. So, all that's going to be new, new belts and a new water pump. So, it's going to be practically a new motor. Well, not really, but... Okay, the water pump is out. Kind of see in there with my mess, I don't know. Um, so I just got to take the gasket off there. That shiny part there. Clean everything up. Wipe everything down. 
Okay, for any leaks, but now it's ready to go back together. The, uh, there's the old pump there. New pump, old pump. If I can do this here. I turned over and looked in here, and you can see where it's been scraping. If I can do this here. Okay, it's still rubbing right on the pump itself. I'm guessing the bearing or something went. I probably just hammer that, which would push it in some and take it off that, which stopped the, the, the squeak for a bit. But I mean, it's not the squeak for a bit, but bearing or something's probably gone. So it's junk. You know, you're not going to save this. If this was like, you know, I need to run 10 more minutes side of the road or something, I might try that. But that's junk. New one, nice and quiet. I put the bolts in there so I wouldn't lose them. Slightly different uh, design, but that's nice and nice and stiff and quiet. This it's stiff, but only because it's rubbing. Garbage. Well, it was going too smoothly. I got everything tore apart. Getting the water pump ready to put in. I thought, oh well, I'm waiting. Uh, for the gasket to set up, I just set the gasket on the edge and put a bit of silicone on it just to hold it in place, not between the, the pump and the gasket, just on the edge to hold it in place while I try and squeeze it in there. So that's setting up. I thought, oh, I'll do the uh, the balance shaft belt. There's my new one and my old one. Uh, yeah, that's the old one. There's a new one. And I've been fighting with it and fighting with it and couldn't figure out why it wouldn't go on. And then if you look in here, you can see the teeth are a different space apart. You know, if I line two of them up, they start going out of whack. So, unfortunately, Rock Auto sent me the wrong belt. Now, it came in a kit and with the timing belt, and I checked the timing belt, and it's fine, and all the, everything else is fine. It's just this one belt. So, I could send it back, and they've been pretty good about swapping things out. I've only ever had one problem before where something was wrong, and it was no big deal, but... It takes time. Uh, you know, I want to get this done today. So I phoned Mitsubishi, and uh, because the Eagle Summit is basically a Mitsubishi, even the engine says Mitsubishi right on the engine, even. So I phoned them, and it's too old, they can't even look it up. So I phoned a uh, local automotive parts place who's open today, and they can order it, be in tomorrow, which, all right, better than Rock Auto having to wait for a few days. But, uh, I'm looking at another $37 just for this little belt. So I just bit the bullet and said, screw it, send me the belt. So I'm on hold. I can get, get the water pump in, but then I can't do anything else. I was hoping to get this all back together today, but, uh, uh, and another $37, like son of a bitch. And of course it's the one belt that absolutely has to be changed. Cause I mean, look how terrible that is. That's all split and cracking and. You know, it's like, if it was in half decent shape, like a, even the old timing belt wasn't that bad, I would have just left it. But it's, that's going to go anytime, so. Oh, it was going too smooth, I should have known. Okay, finally got the timing belt in, and the balance shaft belt in, and the water pump. It's all together. Um, I end up having to uh, go and get another belt from the local auto parts uh, store because one that Rock Auto sent me was wrong and I'm past the 30 days so I can't return it and all they would do is return me another give me another one the exact same one well the exact same one is the wrong one so anyways bought another one cost me another 40 bucks but it's in there it's done um, I got everything all buttoned back up uh, of the power steering back in and the alternator and water pump and the air conditioning everything back where it should be Put some coolant in it because I drained it out for the rad. Uh, only have a few spare parts. There's my old, old idler pulleys and adjuster pulleys and all that. But uh, a couple extra small bolts. But you're supposed to have extra parts over left over, right? So now I'm going to fire it up and see if it fires up. And hope we don't hear any. Uh, hope we don't hear any mashing of valves or anything like that. So I'm going to set you up here. See if it fires up.
nothing bent, nothing. So, got that part uh, straightened out. Bit of a chirp when I fire it up. I'm not sure what that is. I thought it was the water pump because you heard the water pump uh, chirping, but that ain't it because it's a new water pump. Plus, I got a belt too tight. I'm wondering if I got the power steering runs off the pulley for the water pump as well. And I got it pretty tight. I wonder if I should. Well, it doesn't seem. Maybe a little tight. I'm not sure what the the squeak is. Crank it over. Just a weird sounding startup. But I think we're done for tonight. Otis wants to go for his walk. Right, Otis? Go for a walk? Yeah? But the belt's in. It fires up. It runs. Ah, brakes don't leak. Gas tank doesn't leak. So I'm just going to give her a once over all the brakes. Uh, not, for, not so much for leaks, but to check the pads, make sure all the lubrication points are lubricated, you know, ball joints, tie rod ends. Just give it a once over for taking them for safety. Got to fix my wipers. They're not hooked up. And apparently I need new wiper blades. But then uh, she's ready for safety. Oh, well, I got to fix the roof. The roof's the next thing I deal with up there. But, uh, Big jobs are getting done. Um, the, the, the timing belt was the last uh, last big job, I hope. And now it's just a matter of uh, giving everything a once over. Minor thing, fix the wipers, not a big deal. Uh, clean up the roof so it looks a little better and it doesn't leak. It doesn't leak. I don't think it leaks yet, but if it doesn't now, it, it should soon. Um, so I'll fix that up. I might be able to drive this to work on Saturday.